good morning uh, welcome back uh, to this video session so in which uh, we are discussing on uh, payment materials uh, so far uh, we have already discussed on soil and aggregates uh, when i say soil and aggregates the things we have discussed so far are uh, 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 the basic uh, uh, introduction to those materials so then desirable properties uh, of those materials to be used in the highway construction and then uh, the various tests that we are going to conduct uh, on those uh, payment materials so the next payment material we are going to discuss here is bitumen okay so overview uh, bituminous materials or asphalts are extensively used for roadway construction primarily because of their excellent binding characteristics and waterproofing properties and relatively low cost okay the bituminous materials consists of bitumen uh, which is a black or uh, dark colored solid or vis viscous cementitious substances consists chi uh, chiefly high molecular weight uh, hydrocarbons derived from the distillation of petroleum or natural uh, asphalt so has adhesive properties and is soluble in carbon disulfide uh, tars are residues from the destructive distillation of organic substances such as coal wood or petroleum and are temperature sensitive than bitumen okay uh, what do you mean by this temperature sensitive uh, even a, a, a slight change in temperature will uh, vary the property of the material so therefore tar is considered to be more temperature sensitive than bitumen bitumen can be dissolved in petroleum oils whereas uh, tar cannot be dissolved in a petroleum the major differences uh, uh, we shall discuss in the next slides so types of bituminous materials so uh, we know that bituminous material is one of the major binding uh, material that is extensively used in the construction of highways okay so uh, we shall uh, know here the various types of uh, bituminous materials so it is uh, broadly classified as bitumen and tar bitumen may be further uh, furtherly divided as petroleum asphalt or bitumen and native asphalt so bitumen and native asphalt so there are different forms in which uh, uh, asphalts are available native asphalts are those uh, which occur in pure or nearly pure state in nature so native asphalts which are associated with, associated with large proportion of mineral matter are called as rock asphalts so then bitumen uh, it is a crude petroleum obtained from uh, different places are quite different in the composition the portion of bituminous material present in the petroleum uh, may widely differ depending on the source so here uh, uh, the source where you are getting the crude petroleum uh, plays a very important role okay so the uh, the crude petroleum uh, from different sources uh, will be different in their composition okay so almost all the crude petroleum contain considerable amount of water along with the crude oil hence petroleum should be dehydrated first before carrying out the distillation so general type of uh, 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 general type of uh, fractional distillation uh, process is nothing but uh, fractional distillation sorry general type of distillation process is uh, fractional distillation the test on bitumen uh, bitumen is available in variety of uh, types and grades so to judge suitability of these binders various physical tests have been specified by agencies like uh, ESTM Asphalt Institute uh, British Standard Institute and ISI so these tests uh, include penetration test ductility test softening point viscosity test uh, and so on for classifying bitumen and studying the performance of the uh, bituminous uh, pavements the penetration and uh, uh, viscosity uh, tests are essential so not ductility viscosity so when it uh, therefore uh, based on the test the grading of bitumen is done so if the test used is penetration test then uh, it is called as penetration graded bitumen so if the grading is done based on the viscosity it is nothing but viscosity graded bitumen so based on uh, penetration test we have uh, different type of uh, different grades of bitumen depending on the penetration value so such as uh, 30 by 40 bitumen 50 by 60 uh, 80 by 100 70 by uh, 60 by 70 uh, 
100 by 120 so like this depending on the penetration value uh, the bitumen, bitumen is graded this we have already again uh, 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 discussed and uh, conducted the experiments in uh, concrete and highway materials lab so I will not go much in detail about the test uh, you can please uh, refer the manual that I had given for uh, concrete lab so for the clear, uh, detailed procedure of this test okay so one more uh, grading is done based on viscosity uh, for example so VG 10 VG 10, 20 VG 30 so like that grading is done based on the viscosity test okay so various tests uh, video lecture okay. side the various tests that are conducted on uh, uh, bitumen are uh, penetration, ductility, viscosity, float test, specific gravity test, softening point test, flash uh, and fire point test, uh, solubility test, spot test, loss on heating test and water content test. So also uh, uh, I, uh, along with uh, this video in the YouTube, I will also include certain links. Uh, in the description section uh, where you can refer uh, these particular tests so i'll give the clear procedure and also certain supporting videos for these tests so you can go through the procedures okay so next uh, uh, cutback bitumen so this uh, bitumen is further classified into cutback bitumen and uh, bitumen emulsion so we'll see we shall see what exactly are these cutback bitumen and bitumen emulsion so cutback bitumen is defined as the bitumen the viscosity of which has been reduced by a volatile dilutant for use in the surface dressings some of the type of bitumen macadam and soil bitumen it is necessary to have a fluid binder which can be mixed relatively at low temperatures so hence to increase fluidity of the bituminous binder at low temperatures the binder is blended with a volatile solvent so after cutback uh, mix in the construction work the volatile gets evaporated and the cut cutback develops the properties the viscosity of the cutback and rate of uh, at which it hardens uh, depends on the characteristics and quantity of both bitumen and volatile oil used as the dilutant so cutback bitumens are available in three types so namely uh, rapid curing cutback bitumen that is rc so then medium curing mc and slow curing so uh, what exactly is this cutback bitumen so it is a bitumen so viscosity of which has been reduced so usually bitumen is a viscous material okay so in order to reduce the viscosity we usually treat uh, uh, with high temperature okay so this cutback bitumen generally will have a low viscosity okay so while doing that what we do is so we blend this bitumen with a volatile dilutant so this volatile dilutant can be anything uh, it might be petrol it might be diesel it might be gasoline it might be kerosene or it might be a, any a different types of uh, gas oils okay so now this bitumen is finely blended with these dilutants so thereby reducing the viscosity okay this is actually called as cutback bitumen what exactly happens you when you blend this bitumen with a volatile substance okay so at relatively low temperatures at relatively low, low temperatures so the bituminous material uh, 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 finds it difficult to cure or uh, finds it difficult to harden so in such reasons what we do is so this cutback bitumen is used for su uh, surface uh, dressings so here the process is that so when you apply these uh, cutback bitumen to the surface dressings or use in the highway construction so what happens the volatile substance present in the cutback okay so will evaporate over a period of time so thereby leaving behind only bitumen so uh, once this uh, uh, volatile substance is completely uh, uh, evaporated so then bitumen starts to develop its properties so this process is called as breaking down so that means the evaporation of this uh, uh, volatile substance from the cutback is called as breakdown okay so now uh, as i said there are uh, three major types of cutback bitumen so one is rapid curing medium curing and slow curing so what exactly these are uh, we'll discuss in detail rapid curing cutbacks are the bitumens fluxed or cut back with a petroleum distillate such as uh, naphtha or gasoline so which will rapidly operate after using in construction so leaving the bitumen binder 
the grade of rc cutback is governed by a uh, proportion of the solvent used the penetration value of residue from the distillation is a uh, distillation up to 360 degrees celsius sorry so this is uh, 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 not 3600 it is 360 degrees celsius of uh, rapid curing cutback bitumen is 80 to 120 mm that is penetration value is 80 to 120 mm so now uh, as i said rapid curing means the the cutback uh, will cure very rapidly so the reason is so here low boiling uh, uh, low boiling point uh, uh, dilutants are used okay so for example gasoline or naphtha so which will evaporate uh, uh, as soon as uh, we use it in the highway construction so therefore the bitumen is likely to cure uh, at a rapid rate so hence the name rapid curing so then medium medium curing cutbacks uh, are bitumen fluxed to a greater fluidity by blending with intermediate boiling point solvent like kerosene uh, or light diesel oil so medium curing cutbacks evaporate relatively at slow rate because of the kerosene range solvents will not evaporate rapidly as gasoline range so uh, which is used in the rapid curing so uh, solvents used in the manufacture of rc cutbacks so hence the designation medium curing is given to this cutback type so medium curing products uh, have good wetting properties and so satisfying uh, satisfactory coating on fine grain aggregate and sandy soils is possible so slow curing uh, uh, cutbacks are obtained either by blending bitumen with a high boiling point gas oil or by controlling the rate of flow and temperature of the crude uh, during first cycle of refining so slow uh, curing cutbacks or wood soils harden or uh, set way slowly as it is semi volatile material so compared to rapid curing and medium curing uh, cutbacks this slow curing cutback will uh, cure at way slower rate compared to the other two types that is regarding uh, cutback bitumen so next uh, various tests conducted on the cutback bitumen are viscosity test as uh, at a specified temperature uh, using specified size of uh, orifice so then uh, distillation test to find the distillation fractions up to specified temperature and to find the residue from the distillation up to 360 degrees celsius penetration test ductility test and test uh, for matter soluble in carbon disulfide on residue from the distillation up to 360 degrees celsius so flash point test on cutback using uh, penske Ma uh, Ma uh, martin's closed type apparatus so then uh, the second type of bitumen uh, we usually come across is bitumen emulsion so in the cutback bitumen so uh, we reduce the viscosity by using volatile substances so likewise in the bituminous emulsion uh, here also we actually reduce the viscosity but instead of volatile substance we will use uh, 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 aqueous uh, we will use a water okay so we'll see what exactly it is a bitumen emulsion uh, is a liquid product uh, wait a minute I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So bitumen emulsion is a liquid product uh, in which substantial amount of bitumen is suspended in a finely divided condition in an aqueous medium and uh, stabilized by means of one or more suitable materials. An emulsion, uh, what exactly is the emulsion? An emulsion is a two phase system consisting of two immiscible liquids. So, the one being dispersed uh, as a fine globules in the other. Andrena, so this uh, emulsion is nothing but two immiscible liquids. So, I am speaking about cooking oil. So, when you try to add these two, so they will not blend. Okay, so they will completely in uh, uh, will form different layers they are immiscible okay so likewise uh, an emulsion <coughs> is a two-phase system consisting of two immiscible liquids so the one being dispersed as fine globules in the other usually so here uh, you can see 
if this is a water this water is one liquid so and the other one is a uh, bitumen okay so now what we do is in uh, bitumen emulsion the bitumen is finely ground to globules small particles andre chik 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 materials agi grind martivi so then those bitumen are suspended in water okay so now this bitumen is one phase and the water is one more phase so this emulsion is a two phase system consisting of bitumen globules and a water so where in which the bitumens are kept in con uh, in suspension andre the bitumen is not allowed to settle down or uh, to form a uh, uh, to form a globule andre mix agak bidala na bitumen particles na okay so in order to maintain that we usually use emulsifier so now emulsifier in is an uh, it is an agent which actually used in the bitumen emulsion so to keep these bitumen globules particles in the bitumen particles na adana suspension alli idak help madutte emulsion okay so here you can see uh, usually bitumen uh, or refined tire is broken into fine globules and kept in suspension in water a small portion of emulsifier is used to facilitate the formation of dispersion and to keep globules of dispersed binder in suspension Uh, three types of bitumen emulsion are uh, 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 prepared usually just like cut back bitumen here also we have uh, three types of bitumen emulsion so one is rapid setting so the second one is medium setting and the fourth one is uh, the and the third one is slow setting uh, bitumen emulsion so rapid setting type emulsion is suitable for uh, surface dressing and penetration mechanism type type of construction medium setting type is used for uh, pre mixing with a coarse aggregate and slow setting type emulsion is suitable for fine aggregate mixes usually uh, when i say uh, uh, rapid setting uh, uh, emulsion so here the percentage of bitumen will be more uh, compared to percentage of water andre so water is uh, likely to evaporate uh, quickly uh, as it is very small therefore uh, it will set quickly so medium setting means the setting will takes place so, uh, at a lower rate compared to rapid setting here the amount of bitumen and uh, water is usually in a equal rate so then slow setting so here the amount of water will be more compared to the amount of bitumen so that is uh, regarding the uh, bituminous emulsion so the last uh, one is the second type of bituminous material is tar so far we discussed on bitumen the second type of bituminous material is tar <coughs> So tar is a viscous liquid obtained when natural organic materials such as wood and coal uh, carbonized or destructively dis uh, distilled in uh, in the absence of air. So based on the material from which tar is derived, it is referred to as wood tar or coal tar. The latter is uh, more widely used for road work because of uh, because it is a superior. Coal tar is usually majorly used. So three uh, stages of production of road tar are carbonization of coal to produce a crude tar, so refining or distillation of the crude tar and blending of distillation residue with a uh, distillate oil fraction to give a desired road tar. Okay, so this uh, this is how uh, the tar is uh, 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 prepared in three stages. Okay, so there are uh, five grades of road tars: uh, RT1, RT2, RT3, RT4, and RT5. Here, RT stands for road tar. Based on their viscosity and other properties. So RT1 has the lowest viscosity and is usually used for surface painting and are exceptionally cold weather as uh, uh, this has a very low viscosity. RT2 is recommended for standard surface painting under normal Indian climatic condition. RT3 uh, may be used for surface painting, renewal coats and pre-mixed chips of the top coats and light carpets. RT4 is generally used for pre-mixing tar mechanism uh, in base coats. for grou grouting purposes rt5 may be adopted so which has the highest viscosity among other uh, grades of road tar so the various tests uh, uh, conducted on uh, road tars are listed below that is the viscosity uh, so, uh, sorry specific gravity test viscosity test uh, uh, equivocious temperature then uh, softening point uh, then softening point of residue flow test water content distillation uh, uh, fraction on a uh, distillation uh then uh, phenols percent by volume uh then uh, naphtha level uh, percent by uh, percent by weight a uh, matter insoluble in toluene percent by weight the, these are the various tests conducted on tar 
so for detailed procedure please refer textbook uh, and just to so next the comparison between bitumen and tar uh, usually the most important question that are often used in the your external exam so bitumen and tar so please go through the table so bitumen usually it has a black to dark brown color uh, it has a black to dark brown in color same which is uh, it is natural petroleum product it is a uh, it is a produced by destructive distillation of coal or wood or it is a byproduct of coal so then third one it is soluble in carbon disulfide and in carbon tetrachloride so tar is soluble only in toluene so it has a better weather resisting property it has inferior weather resisting property because it is highly temperature susceptible tar is a highly temperature susceptible material compared to bitumen so bitumen are less uh, temperature susceptible as i said tar is more temperature susceptible free carbon content is less free carbon content is more in case of tar uh, it neither uh, binds the aggregates well nor retains the nor retains in presence of water it binds the aggregate more easily and retain it better in presence of water so that is all uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, the payment materials so with that uh, uh, we discussed about the uh, payment materials so next uh, i will be uh, we will be discussing on flexible payment so uh, this video will be up for example uh, for the various tests on uh, uh, these payment materials so i'll be giving uh, uh, links in the uh, description section of my youtube video so please go through the links so where in which you can find an attachment uh, uh, for the various test process uh, procedures okay so with that uh, we conclude this video lecture so hope you are understood so thank you very much have a good day